Hello everybody, I'm Jordan the Masters, a.k.a. Learn the Learned Gamer with Team of Click, and today I have an unboxing and kind of an announcement of what I'm going to be doing. Um, this is a box da -da -da, from Lizard Lick. It has my arcade parts in it that I'm going to be making an arcade with, or an arcade stick. And I have my friend over here, Straboobs, and he's going to be helping me make this. Smile. He loves you. Okay, so since I don't know much about wiring, I have all my arcade parts. Um, the buttons, joystick, wiring harness, bunch of eight feet of wire, and duct tape. Okay, well, not duct tape, but we have that at the house. So, we have our handy dandy motherfucking big knife. Might have to bleep that out. And, uh, I'm gonna rip this thing open. So, actually, no, wait, I gave Straboobs the privilege of taking yeah, the first yeah. incision. So, if you would mind cutting it open. Alright. Alright, can you hold the camera so I can show them what I get? Alright. Thank you. We have invoice that says how much money I freaking spent on this. Peanuts. Great. Oh wow, they package this pretty nicely. Alright, here are my buttons. My Sanwa JL or not, yeah, my Sanwa buttons. Not bad. I'll actually get into everything that's in that later. Here's my JLF joystick. Let's actually open that, if I can. I don't even know how to freaking open a box. I ordered a green ball top with it. And here's the joystick and the wiring harness. Nice. And then, more wire, I, I suppose. And, oh, what is this? Ah, quick disconnects for all the wires. I think I ordered 22 of these, so I think that's all my purchase next. Let's make sure. Yep. Alright, so. All my quick disconnects. Some buttons. Different button. More buttons. I don't want to open those, but... And then the multi-console Hulu board that I'm going to be wiring everything into. And this is basically what everything is going to get plugged into. And I'm going to duct tape this to this thing. This thing is going to come from a shoebox into a fully functioning arcade stick. With nine buttons, a joystick, a bunch of dis quick, quick disconnects, and a green ball top to top it. So that's all the stuff I ordered from Lizard Lick. Hopefully this goes uh, pretty well and I get to install everything without electrocuting myself. That would be why I'm here. Right. That's why there's Mr. Boobs, because he's better at wiring than I am. So we have our four directionals and ground. The JLF. And actually, I can actually show you what the joystick will look like, put together. Pretend it's in the box. Ho oh, oh, ho, I don't even know how to put a ball top on. Jesus Christ, you gotta turn this a lot. And there's the ball top, and then you can screw around with it. And very clicky. Very clicky. And then on the other side. So I'm going to wire this into this. Wire these buttons into this. And hopefully everything works out great. And I have a fully functioning crate to get the end instead of me electrocuted with flaming hair. Alright, so we're doing an update here on uh, how far we've gotten so far. As of late, we have tested the board. We have plugged it in via this handy dandy cable into the computer and it runs smoothly it reckon the computer recognizes it so it is a working board so no problems on the cardboard or the uh, PCB end and we have put the buttons and we haven't wired anything yet but the buttons are in uh, you see in the bottom our awesome job putting the buttons in. no wires yet we are not even plugged that in we have the space for this the cord to go out the cord to go out thing 
And then we still have these remaining buttons, and these buttons are going to go in the front here. So we'll have one like right here. Alright. Alright, update number two. We have the joystick properly mounted so that it doesn't screw around. You can see in here, joystick's all mounted with nice screws. And we have a bunch of the wiring already done, like our ground circuits Triple is working on. Plus a bunch of these that we're going to connect to the screw terminals on the circuit board. So, now it kind of looks like, it actually does look like what it's going to look like when it's finished. That's the arcade stick when it's done, but when the wire's in it. Alright, probably the, uh, the worst update ever. We have finally put together the joystick with all of the start, home button, and we did the wiring. I did the wiring for the joystick already, and it works! The joystick works, as you can see on the screen. That little dot, that shows where my joystick is going. So that is cool. None of the buttons are wired yet. I actually had everything wired up, and then I figured out that I wired everything backwards. So that sucks. But besides that, yay! It works! So fade to this, just want to show you that everything's all wired up correctly. Work! Check this out! I'm Ken, just showing you the punch, kick, well now I'm stunned, but, kick, totally died, but whatever. I will do a more in-depth uh, sh play show of it in a second. So that's the full once over of my arcade stick I made. Um, just want to show you the wiring. It's actually not that hard to wire. And the greatest thing about this arcade stick is that the top flips up for very easy access to the wiring. As you can see, the wiring harness to the JLF goes right into the circuit board. All of these buttons and its ground go into the circuit board. And then this plugs into a USB cable. I have right here, I showed you earlier. This plugs into that, and then it goes right to USB. Um, if enough people ask, I will make a uh, how to video on how to make this. Um, it's actually really simple. I have no electrical wiring experience whatsoever, and I did this in seven hours. Uh, which includes the time I spent taking three or two lunch breaks and a dinner break. Um, but besides that, I made a really high quality joystick besides the box, which I'm going to have to uh, find a new one for. Because this is kind of starting to rip. Um, right here, here. But other than that, it's a very high quality joystick using authentic Japanese parts they use in arcades. Um, total cost shipped was 96 bucks however you might want to add a little bit to the cost probably maybe 98 for some extra wire because um, wire is only a quarter piece so it's pretty easy to get um, and it works great even in the cardboard box uh, that moves around a lot I'm still able to pull off very very easy combos within like in Tekken um, you know Hadoukens, Shoryukens um, you know backwards kicks even uh, Zengi's spinning pile driver 
isn't hard at all. So it's a very high quality joystick with authentic Japanese parts. They're all Sanwa. Um, the only thing that um, is kind of odd about this stick is that I use a very, very odd uh, joystick mounting plate because it was actually the only one that came with the wiring harness. So you might have to pay extra if you want to get an authentic JLF um, for use with like Mad Cats, TE, SE, stuff like that. Um, and the wiring harness is actually sold separately. So, if enough people want to see a how-to, I will make one. It's very simple. You can be a complete dumbass like I am and still make an awesome arcade stick. You can make it out of pretty much anything. I made mine out of a shoebox because that's what I had laying around. I'm going to have to redo it anyway with um, a bigger box. Probably spend 60 bucks on a, a nice, nice finished case. And then I'll put artwork on it. Um... You can make, I've seen people make them out of Xboxes, old PS2s, um, Tupperware boxes, and no matter what you choose, I will tell you how to make this very, very, very easily. You'll do this in less than a day, you'll spend under 100 bucks making it, assuming you have the case. The case is the only thing that you need to have. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, and, uh, yep, Steve Hat. Steve the Skull. Yep, that's awesome. If you don't know who Steve is, I'm probably going to have to make a video to explain that. But Steve is the skull in every single video game ever. Halo 3, Halo Reach, I think the oddball, skulls need to go find, stuff like that. That's Steve. So I have been joined the master of the Arcade Loon Gamer or Team Eclipse. Hope you liked my arcade stick. I'll probably make a how-to soon so that you can make your own arcade stick. It's not hard and it's quick, easy, and it's under 100 bucks. So, um, see you later.